Today, let's talk about Patriarch Jacob Welcome to another episode of Biblical Stories Unfolded. Today, we delve into the captivating story of Jacob, a man whose life journey is marked by disappointments, transformations, and divine encounters. Join us as we explore the story of Jacob, a key figure in the Bible. Our story begins with Jacob, son of Isaac and Rebekah. From his birth, Jacob's life is intertwined with that of his twin brother, Esau. Yet, even in the womb, there is conflict. Rebekah receives a prophecy that the younger twin, Jacob, will be stronger than the older one, Esau. As they grow up, Jacob, known for his cunning nature, seizes the opportunity to gain his brother's birthright through a deceptive deal involving a bowl of lentil stew. Fearing Esau's wrath, Jacob runs away from home and embarks on a journey. Along the way, he dreams of a ladder reaching to heaven, with angels ascending and descending. Jacob's dream. This dream marks a crucial moment in Jacob's life when God reaffirms the covenant he made with Abraham, promising to bless Jacob and his descendants. Jacob's encounter with Laban Jacob arrives at the house of his uncle Laban and falls in love with Rachel, Laban's youngest daughter. However, Laban deceives Jacob by giving him Leah, Rachel's older sister, in marriage. Jacob and Leah's Wedding Despite this, Jacob works for Laban for seven years to marry Rachel. But Laban's deception continues, leading Jacob to work another seven years for the woman he loves. Jacob wrestles with God. Upon returning to his homeland, Jacob hears that Esau is approaching with a large company. Fearing for his life, Jacob fights a mysterious figure on the banks of the Jabbok River until dawn, Jacob fighting with the angel. We see in Genesis chapter 32 of verses 22 to the third and two, at this moment in Jacob's remarkable story, God not only changed Jacob's name, but also changed his story. That night, Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two female servants, and his eleven sons to cross the crossing point of the Jabbok. After he had made them cross the stream, he also made everything he had passed through, and Jacob was left alone. Then a man came and fought with him until dawn. When the man saw that he could not overpower him, he touched the joint in Jacob's thigh so that he dislocated his thigh while they fought. Then the man said, let me go, for the day has dawned. But Jacob answered him, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, What is your name? Jacob, he replied. Then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have fought with God and with men and have won. The figure blesses Jacob and changes his name to Israel, signifying a transformation from a deceiver to someone who contends with God and man. Reconciliation with Esau At that moment, God prepared everything for Jacob to meet his brother Esau. Jacob confronts Esau, expecting hostility. However, Esau embraces his brother, and their reconciliation marks the healing of a long-standing family rift. Hug from Jacob and Esau Jacob, now Israel, continues his journey with a renewed sense of purpose and divine favor. Conclusion the story of Jacob teaches us about the transformative power of encountering God, the consequences of deception and the importance of reconciliation. Join us next time as we discover more timeless stories from the pages of the Bible. Thank you for watching Biblical Stories Unfolded.